Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope everyone's safe. Hope everyone's washing their fucking hands. We cannot stress this enough. Make sure you guys are staying home and make sure you go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. It definitely helps on my channel. Also, go ahead if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. When you hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday, like clockwork. Okay. Today, as you can see from the title, we're going to go over what I got in my first PR package. Like, what? <laughs> it's only been about six months since I've been on YouTube and I'm already getting PR, which is really, really cool. And I'm excited to get into these products and to actually try them out. I haven't used anything. And I did have a representative from this brand, uh, Mrs. Trifle Cosmetics. They did just reach out to me via um, Instagram. And I think this is going to be really cool just to try this stuff out. So if you want to see what I got... In this PR package, keep on watching. Ooh, almost showed on my address. Nope. Okay, so this is how the package came. Um, they reached out to me maybe like a month ago, but with everything going on, of course, it took a little time for me to actually get the package. So they just hit me up um, in an email. They're actually a brand in California. It's called Trifle Cosmetics, so it is a dessert-inspired brand. And this actually came shortly after I think I uploaded something from like my candy series. So maybe that's why they reached out. I don't care. It was nice. Um, so this brand is, they say that they're all about making the happiest cosmetics in the world. Trifle Cosmetics is a whims whimsical dessert-inspired color treat made with mouth-watering ingredients to bring delight, celebration, and delectable joy to your beauty party. Sure, whatever. <laughs> that was a lot. They're 100% cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, 100% paraben-free, so uh, nothing's in it. Got you. <laughs> so they just sent them this little... They just said, uh, we hope you enjoy these treats, and don't forget to tag us at Tribal Cosmetics. That's their Instagram um, handle if you enjoy them. Warm is Samantha. So, like, the first thing I said was, like, so if I don't enjoy them, you don't want me to tag you? Because I'm about to tag you. So this was sent to me in PR... Um, I did not pay for these items, but they did not pay me for this review. Um, and even if they did, if I don't like it, I don't like it. You guys already know I don't play those kind of games. So the first thing in here that I see, I really haven't even really opened anything. I just took a look at the names. So everything was wrapped in bubble wrap, so they're pretty secure. Okay, let me just get it. So this is a Trifle Cosmetics Bon Bon Blank. So this is a Lustrous Potted Pigments. So I don't even know what... Oh, so this is what they are, the little pots. I have three of them. Oh my God. Okay. It took forever. Okay, so this is what the little um, pigments look like. They do have the, it says love dessert, don't be shy, say hi. And on the top, it has the Trifle Cosmetics. So I did look on their website as soon as they reached out to me. I was like, okay, these things look kind of cute. Let's try it out. So this is Black Forest. Pigment. Is it like a glitter? And then a little plastic jar with black forest. That's a peel me thing. I'm not peeling anything with these nails that are still not done. Say some. Say some. Oh, I. Okay. So this is how it comes. It's a little shaker top. Um, a plastic covering over it. You guys know I can't open that. <laughs> I'm going to need some help. I just want to see what these bangs look like if it is like just the glitter because if it's a glitter they shouldn't be like i don't know just say it's a glitter but they said that you can use this over your eyes or your face wherever you want so if i want to use it as a highlight i'm gonna do it on my but it all depends like if it's like just jesus i can't do it anyway so i peeled off some of it shout out to me oh it's just like yeah it's just like a glitter not really I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to touch things. Yeah, it's just like a glitter. It's like, this is a black glitter. So I don't have it, which is really cool um, to have a black glitter. So I'm excited about that. So that's nice. I like that. I'm just going to pop this back in and move it along. So that was Black Forest. This is Snowflake Muffin. I have no idea what color this is going to be. I know the other one. I know the other one. Oh, this is kind of cute. Okay, so it's like a blue, oh, 
not tight. It's like a blue, like a light blue glitter. That's cute. I like that. So this is the Snowflake Muffin. I don't know um, why the name. It's like Black Force made sense to me, but whatever. It's cool. I love glitter. You guys, you guys know that. So I'm definitely going to be using these. And this last one I saw the name is Avocado Jam. And I actually saw this one on their website. And it's green. I don't have a green glitter. I don't use green that much. But this would be nice. Like, look at it. It's like a lime green. This one actually looks, oh, this one actually looks really, really different. Like those two were glitters. This one is like, this looks like a loose shimmer even. So that's kind of cool. Definitely, maybe this one you could use as a highlight. The other two are definitely glitters. So I don't know, they have more of these. So I'm definitely gonna check them out if I really like them and buy some of my own. I don't have a cold for you guys. Again, um, this was just sent to me in PR. I don't get anything. Um, else for this except for the product to try but that was cute I like these so these pigments are $15 each a little steep this is an indie brand so you do expect things to be more expensive um it's not that big sometimes they're more expensive sometimes they're more affordable but for $15 I don't know I could get like the NYX um, shimmer downs or the glitter brilliance which is much cheaper and I think has more product in it so um, I don't know Maybe if they do offer a code, definitely try it out. Um, maybe I'll reach out to them. Maybe after this video I'll have a code. I don't know, but $15, uh, we gotta think about it, we gotta think about it. Okay, the next item in here, I didn't get too many items. This one, sorry about all the noise. So you know I can't get nothing out of this, okay. Okay, this is a Truffle Mascara, Intensely Black Volumizing Mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has little truffles on it, which is cute. I'm opening things, guys. Be proud of me. Okay. Oh, so this is what it looks like. It's just like, just pink. It's a little light, um, but it doesn't make matter. I want to see what this part. Oh, it's just like a standard spoolie. So that's, that's about it. It's fine. It is really black. I'll give them that. So that's cool, definitely gonna um, try this out because if I put any shadows on my eyelashes, you guys already know, gotta cover those up. So the mascara, let me see, I wrote it down. Oh, this is $12, so that's okay. $12 mascara is fine, it's not like a huge mess. it's mascara, like just, it's fine. And the last thing in here is actually an eyeshadow palette, which is good because I'm like, um, y'all see what I do, please send me eyeshadows. Okay, so this is their, oh, mean. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but whatever. This is their uh, red velvet palette, it's an eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. It's a little busy to me, like it's cute, but it's like giving me real. Oh, actually, first of all, if you subscribe to their newsletter and use code YUMMY20, you can get 20% off your next order. It's on the damn packaging. So there you go. So maybe do try out those um, bonbon blings or yeah, those potted pigments. Maybe try those out. You can get 20% off. I definitely buy if I 20% off, not um, for $15. So this palette is $22. I don't know. So already, for me it's kind of boring. It is. So this is what it looks like. Real, I'm sorry, it's a little, it's like, I don't like the pans. I don't like that they're split like that. Like this is how like the e.l.f. or like the old pigments used to buy, like from Claire's or something, how the pigments would look. I don't really, I don't really like that. But each one has a, no, each one does not have a measure. Just actually, it looks like one matte, to be honest. So this is the only matte here. And they're both called, like, each section has a name. So there's not one single name for, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. So this top is Divine. Then it's Luscious, um, Candy High, which I would not name this dark duo Candy High and then Sugar Coated. Definitely wouldn't do that either. I would expect this to be something bright and colorful. This to maybe be something like shimmery, like white or like off-white, like something like that. Like, I don't I don't know who picked this. Um, I don't know. Um, let me just, um, let me see. 
no they're not gonna like my review so maybe <laughs> they said don't tag them maybe that's why i don't know but if you can just see just like one little swatch i don't really like swatches they're like not reliable but even just it was just it looks it's ashy so i don't know what they want me to do with this we're gonna try something out i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in put this hair on my face i don't even think i'm gonna lay down any powder because i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead zoom you guys in and actually try this palette out okay so i just went ahead and zoomed you guys in i didn't really do anything else my face is already done my base is done um i don't have anything on my list it's just foundation so i didn't i didn't go back with any concealer or nothing I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dive right into this, the lighter shade for Divine. I'm gonna go ahead and take my go-to, my go-to and I don't know the name. This is a 225. This is the eye blender, the Lux eye blender. I'm just gonna dip right into that. It's a really, oh, it's like a light, like pink, like a salmon. Can you guys see that? Okay, let's try it out. It does have a mirror, the mirror's okay. I ain't got nothing to complain about. Okay. Ooh. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I like how the color looks. If you guys know, this is like similar to that shade in the Storybook Cosmetics palette, the um, the Big Bad Wolf Journey. This one just a little deeper, but I do like it. So I'm surprised already. Um, maybe we could try to do like a red velvet look since this is a red velvet palette. I don't know. Unfortunately, um, that means I won't be able to use any of those like little shimmers. Because they don't go. They don't. Okay, so it's not bad. It's like chalky. I'm not seeing any fallout. It's a really light color, so I really wouldn't even here um it's blending out pretty nicely so maybe this will be a decent palette maybe it'll surprise me but i feel like this i mean i guess the look will even out because i was like a little crazy last video with the neon but y'all already know like that's my thing so i don't know this looks nice but there's only like one like real matte everything else is like a shimmer which is I don't know why you would do that. I don't know. When I think of a palette, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe get like a whole look out of it. Like with the, what is it? The mini controversy palette. No, you cannot get like a real look at it. It's a complimentary palette that you use with other palettes that you already have, other shades that you already have. That's really what it is. All tea, no shade, that's it. Okay, so that, doesn't look bad like I like it like I just really like that color. I'm just really like I don't know what to do with this there's not a lot of options for like a complete look like I don't know next I don't know I'll just dip into this I don't know what kind of shade this is this deep mauve tone I guess we're gonna call it we're gonna make up stuff that's in candy high so this one here i'm actually gonna take my petite crease brush this is a 231 and i'm just gonna dip yeah it's like a deep mop tone like it's not a matte like i wish each one had like a matte and a shimmer but things aren't what they are there's a little kick up in the pan nothing too crazy i don't know i think i like this color and actually i'm just gonna go ahead does everything like have shimmers in it? Honestly, I feel like even that that shade does. Ooh, but I like that already. Like they they look like they mix well together. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pop that right in the crease. Coming out okay. And of course hit that outer corner a little. And there's where we get the fall. I didn't lay anything down, which is my fault, but I don't know. Since all the colors, I was like, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> just be honest. I'm like, but these are not performing terribly. I do know that they have other palettes. I wish they probably would have shown me or sent me one of those. Maybe I'll utilize that little 20%. But that's okay. So like, I'm not upset. 
like if you're like a neutral girl and like you want everyday looks like this palette definitely could work you're still going to need to reach for another palette so this is not like a standalone this is not like okay i'm going away for like a few days let me just grab a palette for some looks no uh -uh. that's not what this is so like, let me grab a palette for one look and i'm going to just like rough it the rest of the stay that's basic that's what i got from that but I do know that they have other palettes. I didn't really check out the website too much. Of course, everything is going to be linked down below. Even put whatever this discount code is. Again, it's if you sign up for the newsletter. So I'm pretty sure it'll just pop up when you check out the website. Okay, so I just went ahead and blended that out. I did go back into this light shade um, for Divine and just, um, just buff that back out and blend it out a little bit more along the edges. Uh, but, like, it looks nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it's missing something and I do not like that it's like so shimmery like it's just it's shimmer in my crease and I don't really like that um, just to give it a little bit of depth Ooh, what am I gonna do I think I'm gonna go into wait let me swatch this no okay that's actually not bad so this is sugar coated here it's not that terrible like it's not as dark as I thought it would be so I'm going to actually go into this deep shade here for luscious with my E36 by Morphe I'm just gonna dip into that a little just because I don't know it needs some more dimension so right in the crease and along the outer corner I'm actually just going to pop this shade in just to deepen that up a little bit more and you see it makes a difference and I really just want to like more like just towards the middle of the lid here I don't really want um, all of it in the outer corner and just wing it a little bit that makes a big difference for me because I am gonna go on with um, one of the shimmers on the lid I'm not gonna cut the crease I feel like this is like a soft look another soft glam look which is cool I just wish there was like better shade selection in this actual palette. Now, these shades are performing beautifully. Like they're really nice. They're blending nicely together. I've got no patchiness, nothing, but these are shimmers. I, so I don't know, the matte did perform, the one matte, the one matte in the damn palette that actually performed really well is, I don't know. Like I need more mattes. I'm just gonna go back in on the other side and just do the same thing again. I'm not going on like, the whole lid. Focusing more on the outer corner and towards the middle. This is about to be a quick look. Like this could really just be a, a quick look. Like you don't want to do too much. You could skip this step if you just wanted something lighter. But I'm trying to give y'all red velvet eyes. But like, I don't know. This kind of low-key doesn't want me to be great with these selections. Like red velvet thinking a deep blood red this is the only kind of red in here the shimmer and i'm gonna put that on the lid but i guess and if you're using like regular frosting for your red velvet cakes stop that's a crime cream cheese only stop trying to play yourself okay so here we are i think that's good enough i'm gonna go back in with my Eye blender go right back into that one matte shade for divine just a little and i'm just gonna go back in and just blend that out it was looking cute i just really didn't want it to look like <laughs> my boxy charm look too much but you know when life gives you lemons you throw them at pedestrians I'm gonna go back a little bit so for the lid obviously the one shade this one here I'm just gonna take, I'm not using any, nothing. I'm not grabbing anything. No Fix Plus, no glitter glue, nothing. I'm just gonna go right in with this flat brush that I always use for shimmers. And, oh, it looks a little deeper than I thought it would be. And I'm just gonna take that, maybe not a little. Just press that right in the lid. And it's like low key, similar to the other shade. You see it? Do you feel like it's? I feel like it's getting lost. Like, okay, maybe I should have cut the crease, but <laughs> I'm 
I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I'm just gonna take that on the lip. Well, you can see it, but I feel like it's really close to the other colors. When, I mean, I guess when blended together. I feel like this is like, this is, I don't know, just very similar to another look I think I've done. But I really, I really don't like the shimmers in my crease. Like, I don't know. For me, it's just like, this look is literally all shimmers, which is like, why? That's crazy. I've never done a look with all shimmers. I've done like an all matte look, no problem. But all shimmers, like what's going on? I just feel like it's just a lot for me, but there's not really any options at all with this palette. I'm just gonna go back in with my E36, right back into that deeper shade for luscious and kind of just like build that back up along the outer corner. And I think this like low key goes with the lip. And now for my lips, I really just put on it's just a lip liner, NYX, like a brown, any deep brown that you have, and like it's like a gold lip topper from like Colourpop. I said from like, it's from Colourpop. Get it together, but I'm gonna lie. They do blend well together, which is pretty good, but it's just like, I don't want an all shimmer look. I don't. I think it's coming out nice. Do you guys feel like red velvet? I don't know that I feel like that. I just don't know that I feel like that. Something has to give. Do I have a red that I can pop on my waterline? Maybe. Let me just do, I'm gonna that I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm not even gonna clean it off. <laughs> and for my lower lash line, because this look is pretty much done. I'm just gonna use that red, the same one that I used on the lid and just mix it, I guess, with that deeper shade. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because what else am I supposed to do? I feel like it's not even like making a difference. Let me just use most of that. Um, you know what? And let's just pop the same kind of brush that I used for the shimmer. Just a really, really small. I'm just gonna use this shade. Um, it's part of sugar coated because it actually was a decent shade. It's a lot lighter than I thought. Or do I wanna go down? Let me see what this looks like. Nah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe I should. Nope. Sorry. Sorry guys, a little indecisive. Just pop that on the corner. Okay. I kind of like this shade. Like these shades, the shadows are nice. They're not bad shadows. They're not like patchy. I mean, I don't really have any mattes to like reference, but just the one matte, it's not patchy. It's really, really nice. I think the look is cool, but we need shimmers i don't like the shape of the pan like i just feel like this is very childish like this is very old just getting into makeup nyx not nyx even elf like they used to do those little shadow pots that's what it's giving me very much so i feel like this definitely makes a difference here and i think for the lashes that i'm gonna pop on definitely gonna be dramatic because, you know what no 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 we're gonna bring back the babies we're gonna use the angels by pretty Me beauty i'm just gonna pop those on those are like my favorite pair ever. Literally have replaced my Miami lashes by um, Lily lashes. I just want this to be on. Like I think that's really low key. This look is cute. Like I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna pop some maybe like red in my waterline, but I think that's gonna throw it off. I don't know what I wanna put there. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put um, something in my waterline. We're not gonna play those games. Y'all know me. I'm crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead, finish up the look off camera, show you the final look, and give you my final thoughts. So stick around, we're almost done. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I actually like how it came out. It's really nice. I definitely went ahead and added in the waterline Life's a Beach by NYX uh, Cosmetics. It's their uh, suede matte lipstick, liquid lipstick. So it definitely, I feel like it definitely made a difference with the look. Um, the lashes again are Ain't the Style Angel by Pretty Mink Beauty. Always linked down below. And I just feel like it came out really, really nice despite the fact that there are no mattes. Like the, the shadows performed well. 
it's a cute little palette. I think the packaging is a little busy for me, like a, just a lot going on. But this was really, really nice, like these shadows. Like you can definitely go ahead and pop them on with another look. It definitely surprised me. I did try to go ahead and use this shade here uh, for sugar coated, as well as this other shade up here for Divine as a highlight. It wasn't as shimmery. I didn't really like it like that too much. Like it was nice, like just for something subtle, you can definitely use it. But right over top, that just popped on Boomin. Um, that's the loose um, highlight by ColourPop with Makeup Shayla. Really, really old. I don't even know if they still have it, but. It really does the job, and uh, I don't know. If you guys like this look using this palette, definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm definitely excited to get into those loose pigments. One was like a, actually a shimmer. The other two were a glitter. Definitely excited to use that black. I have no black glitter, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I lied to you. I have something in mind I think I'm going to use it for. Yeah, I do. So stay tuned for that. So uh, again, just a big thank you to Trifle Cosmetics for actually sending me all of these items. Like, what? Get girl out here getting PR. Hopefully they don't take me off the list <laughs> after this review because, you know, just kind of like it is. It is what it is. Um, I am really, really thankful to even be getting anything at all. So definitely thank you to Samantha who reached out from their company. Um, I have other items. I have another uh, PR little kit. Just a few items that was sent to me. I can definitely do a review on either on my channel or on Instagram. But again, just a big, big thank you. I'm excited to continue to get some stuff. Like, this is crazy. It's not even been six months, and I think we're doing pretty well. We're slowly approaching the 2,000 subscriber mark. So go ahead, everyone, make sure you're subscribing, you're sharing, you hit that like button, comment down below. And when you subscribe, y'all already know. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload, which is every single Monday, like clockwork. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down below. But make sure you go ahead and check out my stories. I know I said a gift card giveaway is coming up soon. And I know a few of you can use it. So make sure you check out my stories and look out for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time.